Hey there viewers and welcome back to Grumpy Monkey Garage where today we're going to review the top five things that you can get as a mechanic that will save you some time, especially if you're a mobile technician. Alright, so as most technicians out there know, especially if you live in the Yankee states, um, everything doesn't want to come off as it should. There's a lot of rust and whatnot, and the torch is going to be your friend. But this is a cheap $15 Walmart torch, and I'm not really, you know, complaining or advertising this particular brand, but this was $15. You can't really be upset for $15, and it does do the job. We were able to heat up a through bolt on the bottom of a really stuck Jeep Commander, and this did an excellent job. Nothing was working. We had the air hammer, we had the impact, we had everything going to town on it, and it didn't come free until we turned it glowing red, which this can do. They're very simple to use. They fit right in the toolbox, and you don't have to carry around acetylene and oxygen and all the other stuff to be able to run a normal torch. This is very simple. You just twist until you hear it. Ooh, there we go. And you get your, your giant flame out the top there. So this is definitely a time-saving tool when you're dealing with something that's already eating up a bunch of your time because it's a rusty POS. And um, this is gonna help you get that stuff out and be able to complete those jobs in a quicker time scale. Very compact, fits in the truck very easy when you're out on the job site. Up next on our time-saving tools is something that I have used for three years now. I've had it for a long time and I really love this. This is the Stanley Fat Max, the, this. It is a jump box, it airs up tires, it'll charge your tools if they have USB chargers, it'll do a battery and an alternator check for you, and it comes with the world's brightest LED light. So now that you're all blinded, we can get to showing you the other functions. Um, the jump function, you got your jumper cables on the side here. Negative, and then you've got positive on the opposite side. Um, this will hold a charge for a very long time if you have this just laying in the back seat, or if you've got it, you know, in the toolbox. Um, I've been very happy with it. You have to charge it with a um, extension cord though, which I guess is okay. Um, it hasn't ever not done what I ask it to do. I do put this through some severe use. You can see it's pretty beat up. Um, it's been around long enough that there's actually footage of me putting this in the back of our truck in our intro. It's been around that long. So um, I have really put this thing through its paces. It has been out in the rain jumping people's cars. It has been airing up. You have this little area back here where you can attach this and air up somebody's tires. I've done that in the mud on the side of the road and somebody got a flat just to get them where they needed to go. Um, I've had to do a lot of stuff with this thing and this thing has never said, I'm not doing that. It has always performed even under conditions that maybe you shouldn't be using it under and it, it just, it's been a great tool. So now it's you know three, almost four years old, I guess at this point. I do have to charge it after every three or four car jumps now. I didn't used to do that. It could jump 20 cars in a row and not care. Now, how dead those 20 cars were, 20 is probably an exaggeration, more like 12, 15. But still, it, it, this is a great tool. I highly recommend it. It's very compact. It does a lot of things. It can charge your tools and it can really save you a lot of time. Especially if you're doing diagnostic work, you end up killing the customer's car battery while you're testing stuff. This can get you right back up to speed and charge that battery right back up. So this is something I highly recommend anybody doing automotive work or if you're just DIYing in the garage, this can save you having to take a different vehicle or call an Uber because this will get you back on the road. Number three on my list of weird and helpful things you should have around the shop is a nice come along winch puller wherever part of the country you're from. They call it different things. Here it's a winch. So a winch is very helpful for me. I just used this recently to pull some control arms together to get some lower ball joints off. I went from one side of the control arm of the car to the other control arm of the car with a chain around it. And as I cranked the winch up, it pulled the control arms together and pulled the lower ball joints out of the hub assembly because they're really seized in there. And this can be a time saver instead of sitting there beating on stuff with a hammer and a pickle fork, you end up damaging bushings and things with that. Depending on the situation, this situation I would have damaged some stuff. Um, and this was my very easy solution. You just hook it up, crank it, it pulls stuff where you need it to pull. 
Um, is it going to hoist up engines? Absolutely not. There's a special tool for that. Don't use this to do that. But this is definitely good for pulling and shoving things when they need to go. Or if you're doing some body work. Um, I don't do body work professionally here in the shop, but I have fixed some wreck damage that my wife got into and I was able to fix that stuff by using a simple winch design like this, straightening that right back out. So that is definitely something I'd recommend having around. Especially, I think this was like $20, $25 and this can do a lot for you so for that price point get yourself one we'll put the box in this picture as well for you number four on our list is what we affectionately refer to in the shop as skinny penis this is <laughs> i can't even say that in a straight face this is our pittsburgh pro series very thin skinny ratchet as it were with a quarter inch drive flex head on one side and a three eighths drive flex head on the other side it's very thin it's very long for leverage and not that you should use this as a breaker bar, but like the seven and eight spark plug on a BMW V8 in the 2002 to 2009-ish models, you can't get them out with a regular ratchet into backing into the firewall. This is the only way you're gonna get those out without having to do all sorts of acrobatics to get that guy. So this is exactly what I would recommend as a time saver tool, because it can fit in a lot of places. You'd normally have to use a box wrench and you could do all the ratchet things you need to do in there. Also having a quarter inch, and a 3 on the same tool. Usually that's kind of a hokey, oh, this tool does everything type thing and they're all junk. But uh, yeah, I definitely recommend this tool. I haven't broken it yet. I used to work at a uh, aftermarket dealer that specialized in BMW, Audi, Volkswagen. And I, um, I had one of these in my toolbox that uh, my manager had. And I really liked it there, so I ended up buying one for myself. Haven't broken them at all. He always complained that he broke them all the time. I haven't, I don't know what he was doing with them, but uh, I don't really put this through some heavy duty use. I use it only when it's in an application that requires it, and I haven't broken it yet, and I've been pretty pretty pleased with this. So this is number four on our list. This is number five on our list. This is the Cobalt Half Inch Drive Lithium Cordless Impact that I got at Lowe's. And um, this is probably the best impact I've owned, and I've owned about four at this point. I haven't gone through like a thousand. I'm not that abusive to my tools, but as you can see, this one actually still has rainwater on it from where I was just using it in the pouring rain the other day at one of my commercial clients and it just doesn't doesn't quit and even today it's still holding a full charge after sitting in the truck all night after working in the rain it's absolutely fine um, the old impact I used to use was actually this air impact it's a new mark I don't know if that brand is still around or who makes them or where you can buy them um, but I actually bought this really used and beat up at a garage sale yeah not a pawn shop. I think I got it at a garage sale. And um, it, uh, it has performed. It does great. It does require air though. And I think pneumatic tools are phasing out of the industry. I really do think that. That's not just me going with everybody on YouTube saying that. I really do think they're going away. Because everywhere you go, everybody has cordless stuff now. Because this is just so convenient. Um, and the power is there now. This is more powerful than that air impact. Even if you put all of my compressors pressure to this thing. This is still more powerful. You could easily smoke that if you did one of those torture tests like Project Farm will do. This has never met a bolt, it won't take off. It'll rip off lug nuts, no problem. Um, the one thing that I will say if you're gonna get this, if you're doing professional work, this is for you. It's very expensive though. So if you're DIY Dan in your garage, maybe DIY Dan should buy this impact right here because you can buy that for really cheap and not have to spend, I think this was $300 with one battery charger and you get the Gucci carrying case too. But that's designer of course, Cobalt brand made out of genuine bull I'm just kidding. So anyway, <laughs> this is an excellent impact. I highly recommend it. Definitely a time saver. And um, I think that it is kind of unconventional for the current moment, even though that's changing, that everybody's probably gonna end up with cordless impacts like this. But I recommend this over Snap-on because of the price difference, but above the Craftsman C3. I owned a C3 impact for a year and a half. It actually blew up in my hands. <laughs> I was ugga dugga some stuff and it just kind of sparked and and kind of quit uh, doing anything. So I still have the battery and charger over here, but I no longer have the impact itself. And of course, it only came to one year warranty, so I couldn't work at that point. Much better impact, definitely recommend it. Worth the money if you're doing this professionally. I wouldn't leave you hanging without a bonus. This is your bonus. You're gonna to wanna to get yourself a traffic cone and preferably two. And the reason for this is if you're doing roadside work or mobile mechanic work in somebody's neighborhood and it's a narrow road and or people fly through there like freaking maniacs, if you put this out, they're more likely to not hit the crap out of you while you're trying to do some work or change a tire. Or if it's dark out and you're working in unfavorable light conditions or if you're working in the pouring rain, this is reflective, it's gonna catch some headlights if you're doing side of the work, roadside work or anything like that. These are cheap, 
they could literally save your life between this and a fire extinguisher those are the safety features i would recommend anyone doing mobile mechanics work to have on you at all times and we do actually have a fire extinguisher it's like literally just right off camera right there but this is something that is weird that you should have because this this can save you so this is worth it and that's all we got for today on our top five plus bonus item list of weird and helpful time saving tools that i believe everybody should be knowing about and none of them are very expensive so definitely uh, go out and give them a look at and uh, let us know in the comments down below what you thought about this kind of stuff we'll see you next time